Most blogs consist of posts arranged by categories or tags and include comments, user profiles, multiple bloggers, and social media links, as well as extras like a list of recent posts or comments, or a calendar of posts. In this video, I'll show you how to implement all of those features using K2. In the previous video, I covered how to adjust the layout using the options at the category level. There's more fine-tuning that needs to be done to the layout for this blog, but it will involve editing the CSS code and modifying the template, so I'll save that for a later session. First, let's take a look at how K2 handles users. From the User Groups tab, you can create K2 user groups and assign front-end permissions to each group. I'll create three groups. The first I'll call Guests. Guests will be able to comment, but will have no other privileges on the site. I'll assign this group to all categories. Next I'll create a group called Site Owner. I'm going to give this group access to all permissions from the front end so they can add, edit, and publish content. And again I'll assign these permissions to all categories. The third group I'll call Blog Authors. I'll give authors all the permissions except edit any item. That way they can add, edit, and publish their own content but not be able to edit anyone else's. I'll only give this group access to the Devotions category, the category I'm using for the blog. Next we need to assign each user to a group. You can select a gender, then assign a K2 user group from the drop-down list. Add a description. You can select an image file to use for the avatar. And enter a URL. And notes if desired. Save and close the user. I'll assign Betty to the blog author group. And last, I'll assign the guest user to the guest group. You can see we have users assigned to each of the three groups, guests, blog authors, and site owner. In order for the K2 user group settings to take effect, you need to use the K2 user module for logins rather than the standard Joomla login module. From the module manager, click the K2 user, not users the K2 user module. I'll display this in the right column on the devotions page. I'll log in first as Betty Blogger. Once you're logged in you'll see a user menu that allows you to add a new item, view my page, My page displays the author's profile information and lists items authored by that user. Each item has an edit button that allows you to edit that blog post. Since Betty is part of the blog author's user group, she only has access to her own posts. If I view a post by Christian Cowgirl, there isn't any edit button here. Users can edit their author or profile page using the My Account link. You can also moderate comments to your own posts from the front end. If I log out of Betty's account and log back into the Christian Cowgirl account, I now have all the options Betty had plus the ability to edit anyone's posts. I can edit my own items, but I can also edit Betty's items. The K2 user access options are powerful 
and very easy to set up. You can control the display of the author pages from the global parameters, the layout and views tab, the options for user, author, pages. Everything looks okay except I'd rather show five items rather than ten. Also I'll set the default parent menu item to devotions. This forces the user pages to display any modules you assign to the devotions menu option even though the user pages don't have a menu option of their own. Also since we've set up user groups should go to the advanced tab make sure that the default user group for new registrations is set to not allow just anyone to edit your posts. So I've set this to guests. In my user group settings I have guests with no editing privileges. Now it's showing five posts on my user page. Tagging is a powerful way to organize content on a blog, making it easy for users to find posts they're interested in. When I imported the Joomla content, K2 added all these tags automatically. I'll just delete all these and create tags of my own. Just click New and enter a name for the tag. When you add or edit an item, you can enter one or more tags for each item. Once you have tags set up, any tags assigned to an item will be displayed underneath that item's content. You can click the tag to display other items using the same tag. You control the display of the tag pages from global parameters also. Under Layout and Views, in the Options for Tag Listings section. Again, I'll change the number of items to 5, and you have the default parent menu option here also.